Hey guys, Quantum here, and in this video, I'm going to attempt to show you how to get the Moonveil Katana. This is an okay katana. If you're building a dex character, you probably don't want to use it, but it is like uh, an intelligence-based based katana. So you got to go through this dungeon area here. Um, you can you always tell where there's tunnels on the maps or like side dungeons um, because there's usually like a little crater-like indicator on the map. But this area, you're going to go from the Rot View Balcony, uh, where, which is near the shack of the, the Rotting. So it's pretty accessible. You know, you start off in Limgrave, you can literally just run through this area. I have videos on, on beating uh, this whole area if you need help. But basically from Summer Water Village outskirts, you know, you run through this area. You'll get invaded here at the Smoldering Church by an NPC that's very manageable and easy. And then you come down here to the Rot View Balcony. So from here, let's attempt to find this cave entrance it's called gale tunnel um i think that's how you say it gale but once you beat that tunnel you will get the katana from inside Okay, so it's most likely down there. Oh, and this is this should be pretty easily accessible. Yeah, very easy. All right, so let's go through. I don't have my torch, but that should be okay. So I'm only level 50, uh, 54, but it seems like I'm pretty strong for this area. These, en these enemies are going down very quickly. All right, so always a good idea to have your torch out. Okay, we, we might die here, but let's... Let's try it. Somber smithing stone, very nice. Are they gonna make you jump, huh? Okay. All right, very manageable. Yeah, it's not a good idea to try to change weapons and stuff, you know, in the middle of a, uh... In the middle of a whole pack of enemies. So let's, let's try this again. So it seems pretty well lit in there, so what I'm actually gonna do is... For the guys that are basically made of stone... Um, I'm gonna have the war pick. And for the regular soldiers, I'm gonna keep the katana out. Man, when you get staggered in this game and then you get comboed, it's brutal.
Wasn't I just talking smack about how I'm over leveled for this area and it's not going to be challenging? I guess that's what you get. I mean, the first time you go through an area, it's, it's always going to be challenging. These guys. Oh my god. I'm going to die right here. Alright, so that was uh, a little bit more challenging than I thought, but I think we're okay. Again, look at the walls. Um, that's how this game puts their upgrade materials in these caves. They're all up against the walls and stuff, so collect a lot of materials in these areas. I don't know who that guy was calling, but it seems nobody has come to help him. Okay, very nice. So you go through this, you go through this tunnel, and uh, it connects to Limgrave on the other side. <clears throat> so to fight the boss. That's how you get the katana, I believe. But there's also another weapon in here. But I'll figure that out later.
Alright, not too bad for the first try. Get the moon veil right there. So this is not a weapon that I'll be able to use because you can see my intelligence is only 9 and you need uh, 23 intelligence. But this katana, I, you know, actually doesn't weigh that much. And it looks kind of cool, so. Let's do a quick little showcase of the dual katanas. So I can't, it looks like I, you, if you don't have the stats, you might not be able to do the uh, specific weapon art or Ash of War, whatever it is called, that's equipped to it. Um, but if you are a dex and intelligence based character, which I don't recommend, um, at least not right now, it could end up being really good in the game, but this might be a katana that you want to go get. So hopefully you enjoyed the video guys. Thank you again for watching. Quantum is out.